Good morning, my beautiful internet friends. Here's the thing, I am in no way, sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, I don't think I ever have been in any way prejudiced against anyone who uses any kind of mobility aid, wheelchairs in particular. I am deeply prejudiced against using wheelchairs in my own life. And this has caused problems and is continuing to cause them, and I thought I'd come clean about it. So let's have a little heart to heart, shall we? This past weekend I was in Dallas, Texas. I posted a bunch of the pictures on my Instagram, linked down below. It was a really great experience, but I only brought my iWalk. I don't actually have a wheelchair that I can use. I do have like a hundred dollar wheelchair from Walgreens where someone can push me. I used it briefly after surgery only to get out of the house when I could not walk without like passing out from being in pain and being exhausted. So I went to a all day conference where there were thousands and thousands of people and I had to do a lot of walking, uh, an absence of Uber, so we did a lot of walking and my stubbornness where I made myself do a lot of walking with just the iWalk. Now you'll remember this video <laughs> in which I said, so the iWalk is an awesome short term solution but it is not designed to be used every day for hours a day because that is not how our bodies work. We're trying to be really careful with it and decide when it's worth it to use it. I'm also switching to crutches sometimes, which kind of crushes my soul a little bit. I'm trying to walk less on the iWalk, give my knee a break, blah, blah, blah. That's obviously going really well by the fact that I walked probably a couple miles a day, at least one or two of the days that I was down there. <sighs> and at the end of the weekend, a situation came up that kind of brought to my attention that I think I need to just like bury my pride because it's injuring my life and my body, but it's really hard for me. I don't know why ever since I first injured my ankle, I like refuse to ever be pushed in a wheelchair. Like if I went to the grocery store and I was on crutches when I was like 14, I would crutch around, gosh darn it. My mom would always be like, let's get you a wheelchair. And I'd be like, no mom, I've got this. I think it's an independence thing where like I wanna be able to, I don't even know if that's it because actual wheelchairs that you can maneuver yourself do give you a lot of independence, but I have never been able to stomach the idea of other people pushing me around. I just don't like it unless it's absolutely necessary. And so the whole week it went on, it actually was okay. Like my knee wasn't terrible. I took care of it at the end of every night. I just doused it in blue emu, which is like this number Cream. Again, I'll link that down below if you're interested in what it is, but it, it helps me a little bit. So I just like tried to like kill the nerves and numb the pain. But the day that we had to fly home, I woke up with a migraine and my leg really hurt and my knee was messed up and I only had the eye walk. And so I'll tell you what, uh, going to an airport when you have a migraine is not my idea of a fun time. It was pretty rough and I was doing pretty rough and my friends were absolutely lovely. I went down there with two of my friends and they were great. They helped me out so much. I mostly did a lot of refusing their help because I have problems accepting help. And I was doing a fine job of hobbling through the you know, airport, suffering along, just doing a good job of not accepting help and taking care of myself. And uh, I, they had me sit on a bench while they went and like took care of ticketing or whatever. Came back and they had a wheelchair. Looked up and my friend Josie was like, you can murder us later. Cause I think she knows how I feel about this. Josie, by the way, thank you. I love you. And I was like, I just, I might. Uh, but at that point it was like, I can't say no. Like I, I couldn't say no. They literally had it there and they were like, no, we are going to help you because you were obviously in a lot of pain. And internally I was kind of like ticked off about it. I was like, no, like this isn't what I want. I can do it myself. Like I'm fine, blah, blah, blah. And it uh, turns out it was really helpful and definitely helped my migraine to be able to close my eyes at least going through the airport, if nothing else. And so that was really helpful. If there's one thing I truly hate, it is being in a wheelchair and my head was really hurting and my leg was hurting and my friends were terrible people, AKA really good friends and forced a wheelchair on me. So, uh, so I just said, okay. And I accepted the help and guess what? It actually helped. So thank you, Josie and Amanda. And here's another step towards actually accepting help and not doing everything yourself. Oh, but I hate it. Oh, but there's something, I just hate it. And I was thinking about the next trip I have coming up today because I am going to the Amputee Coalition's conference down in San Antonio. I've never been to Texas before, but I'm going there twice in two weeks. And my mom really wants to bring like the push wheelchair that we have. I've been fighting her on it. And I had told her like, yeah, just bring it, just to bring it. And I was literally about to text her. You know what? Don't worry about it. I did fine with the iWalk all conference weekend. Like let's not even bring that extra, possibly very helpful tool that could save me pain and suffering. And I thought about it and I was like, Joe, what are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing? I was talking to another friend of mine online a couple days ago 
And I was, I was mentioning how the iWalk was hurting my knee and he's also an amputee and he was like, yeah, I use the iWalk a lot. I found that, you know, a wheelchair actually worked a lot better for me because it didn't hurt me and it still gave me a lot of independence. And I was like, oh, huh. Maybe I should consider that. Now my house does not allow for wheelchair use very well. Uh, it's three levels oh, to get in from the garage. There's there's a stair. Like it's just not very wheelchair accessible or friendly. But I'm wondering if it might be a good time to break down and apply to insurance to help pay for one that I could actually manage myself and not have to have someone else push me. Ah, side note: there is no badge of courage or accomplishment in riding the struggle bus and like struggling along and having a hard time or in unnecessary suffering. And I think somewhere along the line, I got it in my head that like, it was better to have a harder time if it meant that I was doing it myself. It was like giving in or a bad thing or somehow lesser if I made my life easier. Breaking it down like that makes no sense. And I honestly do think that there is strength in accepting help. I think that there's strength in admitting that you need something. I think what I'm trying to say is I am struggling to find that strength and it is, it is a, um, I'm still in the gym for that one. I have not reached the peak of accomplishing that just yet. But I am literally making this video and I'm going to publish it as a way of forcing myself to accept help. In this case, that means allowing my mom to bring the wheelchair as a backup option. I'm not committing to letting anyone use it. I'm just saying it's gonna be there in case I need it. Because I think I repeatedly shoot myself in the foot. I just push myself way too hard. For what? I don't know. It's just so important to me that like I have that independence. But again, I have literally never thought that someone using a wheelchair was not independent. Like I don't have that thought about other people. But as soon as it's about me, I get so upset and so angry and so flustered and frustrated. It's a real punch in the gut. <laughs> Trying to stomach pride and like clamp that down is hard and mostly my friends have to either like corner me or force me into helping me Which is really that's not a nice thing for me to do to them And I've talked in other videos about how you're really because it's true You're taking away someone else's joy by being able to help you because I'm someone who loves helping other people sincerely It's great and when people are constant like no, I don't need your help It's kind of pushing people away. So like I know what I'm doing, but I keep doing it sometimes so this week I am very actively, consciously focusing on stopping that. And I feel like a conference for amputees is a good place to talk to people about that and to actually focus on accepting a little bit more help bit by bit. <laughs> so what is something that you have trouble accepting help on? Or are you on the flip side of the coin and you are totally fine asking for and accepting help? If that's the case, I would love to know your secret or any advice. If you are gonna be at the conference, I would absolutely love to run into you. Let me know if you'll be there. I'll be looking out for people to say hey to there. As always, a huge thank you goes out to all my patrons over on Patreon. It's kind of like an online tip jar and I really appreciate all of you guys there. It's an amazing little community that we have growing there. I couldn't do this without you guys. Thank you. Look forward to reading your comments down below. I love you guys. I'm thinking of you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Have heard from the sky.